What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool kind of like glitch effect. It's kind of has its like masking effect to it as well. And I think you guys will absolutely love this effect. So this doesn't require any plugins. It does require a separate video, which I will provide down in the uh, description. So be sure to check it out. I will have it down linked in the description description of course and um, shout out to the creator as well so without further ado let's jump right into the tutorial all right so first things first you want your video in the timeline which I have already done now I want to select a, a part where I want to start the effect so I'm gonna press B on the keyboard I'm gonna click there and I'm going to end it around maybe here click and now you will have your selection of where you want the effect to start. Now, once you've done that, just hold down the option key and drag upwards. So hold the option key and drag upwards and now you will have a copy of that exact clip. Now what you wanna do is go into the effects, go down to the masks and go to the draw mask and drag that onto that copied clip. Now, once you've done that, all you gotta do is make a selection of the subject, whatever that is, whether it's a car, an animal, a person, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to undo that and have my playhead at the beginning and I'm just going to make my selection. I'm gonna go on the outside a little bit just because I think we can make a better selection of this. So I'm going to roughly go over it. Now you wanna of course take your time with this and do something like that and maybe here like that and then finish it off right over here. And once you do that, what you want to do, go to the transforms over here and click on the arrow next to the transform and you're gonna have position X and Y click on this little plus icon to add a keyframe and then you want to go to the control points and add a keyframe next to that one as well so all we're doing is tracking the subject now so we can press right on the arrow key to follow the movement of the subject so if it's moving a lot you're gonna do a lot of work but if it's not moving that much it's gonna be a little bit easier so just a little heads up so I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't get bored So once you are finished, it's going to look like this. So all you got to do now is add the footage. So go to the uh, project uh, properties here where you can find all your footage. I'm going to drag this one and drag it below here. So something around there. Perfect. And now what I want to do is find a place where I want this to start. So I'm going to, if I move this here and trim it, have it look like that and then trim the end and delete it. So now it's going to look like this. Perfect. So now what we can do is change the blend mode. So we're going to go on to the blend mode up here on the right where it says normal and change that to, I think it's going to be on vivid light. Now what we're going to do is click on the top clip here and change change the featherness, feather this inwards a little bit like that. Now we're going to have the invert mask checked. So click on this button. So now we'll look like this. So if I push play. Looks great. Now, if we click off of it, you're going to notice a little bit of haloing. That's just going to happen. I mean, you can, you know, increase the feather a little bit more if you wanted to or outwards a little bit. So there's not really much you can do from this point. Uh, you can increase this to the left a little bit the fall off there to feather it a little bit more. So from this point, what you want to do is make another copy to create the actual glitch effect. So what we're going to do is hold option and drag upwards again to make another copy. So once you made the copy, you're going to have the main clip here. Okay. And this is going to be on blend mode. It's going to be vivid light. Then the second clip here is going, the middle clip is going to be the same exact one as this one, but this one is going to have the draw mask so leave that one how it is and then the top one we're going to add the actual effect so go to the effect so go to stylize and then go to bat tv and click and drag this directly on top of that clip now you're going to drag the bat tv above the draw mask just like that and then from this point you want to change the static type to tv static and then from this point what you want to do is change the blend mode so we're going to click on the blend mode and we're going to change this one to either pin light or hard mix. I'm going to do pin light for now. So now it's going to look like this and we might want to change this a little bit. So we're going to have to uncheck the invert mask. So it only affects the actual mask in this here before it was like this. So if I have it checked, it's going to affect everything except the subject. But if we ch uncheck this, it's going to affect just the subject and not the background. If I push play, it's going to look like that and you're pretty much done. It's that simple. Now, of course, 
You can, of course, change the feathering as well as where you make your points if you don't want to have this halo effect. But that's pretty much it. So if I were to push play, you're gonna see what it looks like. It's that simple. You can play around with the bottom clip. You can change that glitch video to something completely different. And you can also change the amount here. So if I go back and I increase the amount here and I push play, it's going to look like that. Super clean. And yet again, you can change, if we go to the top clip, we can change the blend mode to like linear light or vivid light to kind of get a different effect. So we can do a soft light and push play and it looks like this, super clean. And uh, that's just really a quick way of doing it without any plugins. Of course, if you have a plugin, it'll look a lot better. I don't know any plugins yet that I know that creates this specific effect. If you know one, please let me know down in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, leave a like like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.